Hello, I'm Danny Massey, the proud superintendent of Brassport ISD Schools, and we're here for another Massey Minute. And this is one of my favorite student organizations. It's the teacher organization, or TAFI, and these are students that are going through our education pathway. And I always say, teachers make all other professions possible. And Ms. Cameron Peters is the teacher of this pathway, so Cameron, tell us about the TAFI organization. So TAFI stands for Texas Association of Future Educators, and what it is, it's to help students explore the teaching or the educator field, and that way they can kind of see if they want to go into that, maybe it's a counselor, administration, a teacher, uh, even an LPC as well, and so it's just a way for them to like explore those different careers and also like do projects where they can then compete. So we have like children's literature, there's interactive bulletin boards, all kinds of different um, contests that they can then do, and then go from region, state, and up to nationals. All right, well thanks for all you do to support our students and to support the TAFI organization. I know they just recently went to a contest and were really successful and we have some students that are going to nationals. So yep. thank you for excited. your work. Thank you for your work. Yeah. We're here with Liana from the Brazoswood TAFI organization that just earned a trip to the national competition in Orlando, Florida. This summer, congratulations to you. Tell us about the project. Um, for lesson planning and delivery, I decided to teach a class over drawing tulips to a whole bunch of other students who also are in the education pathway. And I had to write a document to explain the lesson and who it's for and what it's doing, and then I had to create a video and demonstrate it. Oh, thank you, congratulations. I'm here with Paulina and Lydia, and their project that they earned a trip to nationals is a Spanish children's literature book. Tell us about the book. Um, the book is about a pig's first day of kindergarten, and she's really nervous because she feels like the other kids aren't going to like her. And her mom tries to t talk her through, like, everything's going to be okay. But and then at the end, she finds some friends, and it turns out all good. Yeah, it all works out for her. Um, it inspired us because we know what it's like going to like a new school like when we're little and like not knowing a lot of kids and kids can be mean so when we made our friends like we realized that like you know you make friends you can be yourself and you know you have more friends and you're happy in school you look forward to going i'm here with olivia and Catherine. congratulations on earning a trip to nationals based on your project tell us about your book um daisy is about a little flower who starts out at a new school and she gets picked on by the other flowers because she's not as pretty as, the, as they are. Um, and then she makes a friend, and something happens to the bully, and then she realizes that she was wrong, and she apologizes, and they all become friends in the end. Hello, I'm at Brazosport High School, here with our senior Taffy student, Leslie Cabrera. And Leslie, in a competition, earned or qualified for the national competition based on her project. Leslie, tell us about your project. Basically, I did an interactive bulletin board. It's, I named it Candy Math. Um, I based it on Candyland and math. I have a big passion for math, and Candyland is like my favorite game, so I thought, why not combine it? It was an amazing idea, I loved it. We're here at Brazosport High School with our education pathway teacher, Jaime Moreno. He has sponsored the Future Educator Student Organization, and recently they went to a contest and they did really well. Well, talk to us about the uh, current technical education pathway of education sure. and how you support that and what goes on in those classes for our future educators or our students that are considering going into education. All right, so one of the misconceptions about the pathway is that it's just for teachers, and reality is not. Anybody that might want to do anything in education, whether that's counseling, whether it's administration, or even if your your pathway that your future career just deals with working with young people. Uh, so we have a principles of education, which is just sort of an overall, like this is kind of what we do in education. Uh, the second level of that is human growth and development, which is a really cool class because it goes from everything from conception to death and everything that humans go through and how they develop as a person and everything kind of encompassing that. And then we have our instructional practice and practicum, which is our double block class. The great thing about those classes is that they actually get to have experience in classrooms. So if they feel like they want to be a coach, history teacher, well, we're going to put them in a history classroom. If they feel like with a couple of years ago we had a kid that wanted to do counseling, so we made sure that they were able to meet with one of the counselors there at the schools. So we go into our feeder program, Velasco, 
Lanier, we go to Freeport Elementary, and we go to FIS. And it's a really good experience because they get to see what the classroom life is like. Um, and it really helps them sort of hone into, okay, if I'm gonna do education, this is where I'm more comfortable at. We have kids this year that like, Leslie as an example, more than likely will go into their early education, pre-K, first, second. But we have a young, a young lady who is passionate about seventh grade. And so she has had a lot of fun at, at Freeport Intermediate. So yeah. Good. Well, thank you for being a model for our future educators Appreciate and your dedication to our students. Appreciate thank you. It. Congratulations. Thanks. Good job. Tell us the, your favorite thing about being in Taffy. I like that I like that there's a lot of other people that want to do the same thing as me and understand why I want to do it. Just like share around ideas with me and Catherine and I enjoy the process of making the, making the things and making the book. That's my favorite part about being in it and being able to make the book. I just enjoy being a part of something and I've met a lot of new people and been able to do things that I haven't been able to do without time. And please honor a teacher or an administrator or somebody in education that's been a big impact on your life. Honestly, Ms. Laban, Ms. Brandy Laban, our assistant principal, she is, has honestly pushed me so much to do my best. Um, over these past four years, she's helped me so much. I love her so much. She's an amazing person. Ms. Gary, my third grade teacher. Ms. Gary. Well, I'm going to say Ms. Peters because she's why I'm very able to do this. Right. My fifth grade teacher, Ms. Selman, really made an impact on me and went to be a teacher. Um, Mrs. Kavmeyer, Mrs. Crowell, um, Ms. Uh, Ms. Campbell, she's a teacher here at the CTE building. Well, congratulations to you and thank you for choosing the field of education and we want you to come back to Bradsport ISD to teach. Great, well thank you for choosing the greatest profession there is in the entire world. Thank you very much. Congratulations to you and thank you for making the decision to become a teacher. That is the best profession ever. There's no greater uh, reward and sense of fulfillment, I don't think, than being a teacher. And so I hear often about students uh, wanting to be an influencer. <laughs> and there's no better influencer than a teacher, right? Yes. So thank you all for choosing the profession of education.